The Replicables 2000, Blair Witch, The Book of Shadows. Oh my god, please don't do that shit. Oh, I should've brought like my horns and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys are way too happy to do a replicables. Yeah, what's up, everybody? We're talking about Blair Witch 2, The Book of Shadows. Can I ask you guys both a question? Sure. Where's The Book of Shadows? There is no Book of Shadows. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> so, this is our fourth replicable. Yeah, quarantine edition, everybody. So, I wish I had like a quarantine. I'm Nick. Room. I'm Taylor. I'm Jerome. Taylor, it's your second replicable. What? It's your second replicable. What? Indeed. Don't start. <laughs> um, this is by far the worst movie we've watched so far. Don't you agree? I don't know. Snatch was pretty bad. Shut the fuck up. One of the worst I've ever seen. Uh, so we're pick- we're, we picked this movie because someone commented on one of our other ones that yeah, we should do Billy it. Jackson said, you guys need a restinkable. So we're going to get that right off the bat. Is this movie a replicable or a restinkable? It's restinkable. No, uh, yeah, I know. But replicable. I get it. She wants to watch it again. Duh. Ah. No, yeah. Fuck off. Um, I couldn't believe how bad this was. Yeah, well, it started out and it's like a documentary. And oh, the first one was a movie and the town's mad. Blah 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 blah. Which I couldn't tell from things I've seen if they really did interview those people or if that was fake. I thought it was fake, but then I saw something. No, they, they really interviewed them. Yeah, which I was like, I think wow. I think it was mixed in. Probably. Um, but it's like, oh, this seems like, okay, it's going to be shitty, but it seems like it'd be like a fun shitty movie to watch. Right. And then that's, just, then after the first 20 minutes, they get to the fucker's house, which he paid a dollar for. How did he pay a dollar for that place? He didn't. It, it was condemned or some shit. Like they were going to like tear it down. They didn't give a shit about it. Well, it's, yeah, but you, don't you yeah, think that, that was a, that, that was a pretty nice crib. No, it was not. I'd lived there. Well, you just got to fix yeah, the bridge. We've seen. Well, it's, it didn't really break. <laughs> or did it? Well, I mean, I wouldn't use that bridge anyway. And sketch. also, who the fuck would make a dog barking alarm? That guy. That's that so, exact guy. Like, ima- imagine the fifteenth time you come home, you're like, had a really long day, you get in the door and say, like, <laughs> and you're like, oh fuck, why we have, have that. Why what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's obnoxious. Our dogs bark every day. I think it would actually because he didn't even own a dog too. Like when I came into the house, sometimes like if it were late at night, I'd forget, and then it would scare me. Oh, I could see that scary. Yeah, me. I could see that too. And it just slammed the door and run. Yeah, I. It was weird. So I first of all, let's get this off my chest. I don't like horror movies. Mm-hmm. So I already didn't want to watch. Can you this. explain why? Because I don't understand. Horror Usually, because they're boring and stupid. Yeah, but you probably just watch ones like this. Apparently. So, but I thought, all right, this will be interesting because, like, there's. St- the half the reason I wanted to do this is because I wanted to have like, oh, let's come up with categories. Well, yeah, that, well, you got to fit every movie into. Holy shit! Did this was this hard to do? Yeah, as we were watching this, I was like, I was just cracking up because I like the guy wakes up and the me. Where's my Where's my button? Where's my button? Where's my button? Where's my button? What the fuck? Yeah, I was thinking that the whole movie. And I was, <laughs> yeah, everybody was. But I was like, how is he gonna write notes on this? Like, how do you write best actor in this movie? Oh, I wrote it down, so we'll see. It probably is. What the fuck? I know. All right, so this came out October 27th, 2000, right before uh, Halloween. Be- before Halloween the movie or before the uh, Bet- holiday? Before, uh, yeah, before October 31st. <laughs> okay. For fuck's sake. You couldn't figure that one out on your own? Why was I thinking Halloween was on the 25th? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I could get a calendar for you two if you'd like. <laughs> Well, the way you said it, we're talking about a horror movie, and you're like, right before Halloween. And I was like, oh, there's some connection? Well, I think they were trying to capitalize on people seeing horror movies right before the... Uh, before people go trick-or-treating. Is that better? That's why... See, that's why you're here. Jesus we fucking ha- we, should, we should have him sit in on Bedroom of Spookies, so he'd be like, hey, they did this because the, they're going to go trick-or-treating that night. And we're he, like, could, oh. he could watch ours and then do a narration over it. Yeah. yeah. So don't film it. What? You don't film it. You could listen to it. You could listen oh, to ours. Oh, okay, because you said watch, it. and I'm like, what am I supposed to look at? Okay, but with this movie, I've seen a lot of horror movies. Yes. Oh, name them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. I've seen a lot. Like, there's, I've literally even seen, and this one was pretty bad, called Bloody Murder. Mm. 
and that Sounds one was great. still better than this one. Yeah, the, like, this was pretty low on the totem pole, and I've seen a lot. I haven't seen a lot. So I don't. I usually stay away from them. I watch the bad ones too, purposely. But this is not helping. Yeah, we normally watch bad ones on purpose. Well, you did. Yeah. But this one's like bad because it's also like boring. Yeah. Once you get so, to that well, boring. Well, do you do you guys think? Because so the story with this movie is that the director made it and he wanted it to be like a little bit of satire, and then it eases into being horrorish, and right. they, they put the girl in the corner and she's naked on a tree and blah blah blah. Do you think it would have been a better movie if they studio didn't put that stuff in, or do you still think it would have been sh- shitty? No. It would have been bad. It probably still would have been bad, but I, I don't think it would have been as bad. I don't. Yeah, I would have been less confused throughout the movie where it was like, oh, we're beating an Asian kid in the head, and now they're partying. Yeah, the editing, like the weird hodgepodge of like... I'm going to edit this podcast like that. It's going to be Hess swinging naked on a tree randomly in the middle of this. It That'll is, be a big tree. It's like really weird, small the heads. order of events mm-hmm. to follow well so and also like the hospital stuff with him they just added that in so to make him look kind of villainy yeah that was stupid yeah him being crazy yeah. which is weird so it made me wonder when all this stuff how about out- the part where they put his that thing up his nose that looked so fucking fake <laughs> i love and you uh, this is a, always a thing in bad horror movies they have the widest angle you could possibly get Oh, mm-hmm. down to the people and they're always going down on to someone doing some kind of surgery down on them or oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You see that in a movie and you're like, oh, this is probably a bad horror movie. I feel like that's kind of a staple of a bad horror movie. I could see that. That was a burp. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like a lot of movies actually, I don't, I feel like a lot don't have surgery in them, but or I even do like, get what you or mean. It's, just like, it's, like, a, it's like a crowd it. of people. If you haven't, what oh, yeah. about an a under- movie Surgeon from Hell? Is that a movie? No, I made that up. There's uh, actually a horror movie that I have a picture of on my phone because I want to watch, and I know it's not going to be good. Do you know you, you can't watch so movies? Can, can I pictures? ask a really dumb question? You always do. Go <laughs> <laughs> be quick. Um, why do you want to watch movies that are bad? Because th- those are fun, like the Sleepaway Camp. It was Sleepaway Camp! Oh, yeah! Bedroom of Spooky, Sleepaway Camp coming soon. That was a re- revelation of a uh, conversation we are having before yeah. we started the podcast. That's just real want to see a penis. Yeah, true. But Sleepaway Camp 2, and I think we watched 3. I didn't get to finish 3. I saw a movie with him. Yeah, I think I finished 3 myself. But those were those are like perfect shitty movies. Top hmm. notch shitty I don't movies. know what that means. Like, they're real bad. Yeah, but, yeah, they're, but they're, how, uh, they're so bad it's entertaining to watch. Because like, it's like, I, I don't know, it's just fun. But this is like boring. This No, this was boring. It, it, it seemed like it took itself super seriously. Yeah. But then... It wasn't serious. I don't. It, it's hard to explain. Yeah, so no, I get that. I feel like we should get into this too. What's your guys' opinions on the actual Blair Witch? What do you mean, like the original movie? Yeah, no, the myth. What do you think about the real Blair Witch? I don't what think do you she's think she's real. up to nowadays? <laughs> just, do you think she plays Warzone? Do you think she's? Because if so, it? I'd like to squat up with her. Probably. Is she keeping six feet apart from people right now? No, you know, I, she's coughing on people. She's going around fucking. <coughs> get that I remember when it came out. Which you probably don't, because you were just born that year. No, oh. she does. She went to the multiplex to see it. Really? Mm-hmm. Actually, the multiplex? Yeah, that's how old she is. I do. So then, it must have not seen it obviously when it came out. But I do yeah, remember. I seeing remember it with uh, Macy and like us Mariah. watching it on DVD. Macy couldn't watch it because it made her like. Uh, M- Macy made us she watch it w- us with her, with it. and then she was told us it's all real, like everybody else did. And then we were all scared, and ma- we all went to the bathroom and took turns peeing because we all stood in the bathroom <laughs> together. <laughs> that's a true story. I don't remember that. Part. We were sitting what the, the couch, fuck? And the credits are going. Macy goes. I have to potty. Can you guys come with? And I was like, I kind of got a pee too. Oh, because someone's like, going to video you, you and a witch is going to come out? Well, I did have a camera. And I was holding it up to my nose. I remember it when, it, when it came out, every, there, a lot of people thought it was real. And I remember thinking, what the fuck? It's a fucking movie. Mm-hmm. Like, they don't, it, but I think it's because like the marketing of it and all that. Cause, like, there's that yeah, I know, but like, I, never thought, I never thought Snatch was real. Yeah, but like... Wait, Snatch isn't real? Oh, well, kind of. Oh, okay. I had to say, though, if you're an adult and you watched that and thought it was real. Yeah. But we were like, I was like six years old when I saw yeah. that it was real. Yeah. I mean, I they probably did, thought Scream was real. They did do a lot of stuff, but I, I think just as many people that thought it was real, thought it, people thought it was not also real. Yeah. We, it was a long time ago, though. We watched it. <laughs> Jesus. Excuse me. A few years back, like a year or two ago. It doesn't hold up, does it? No. I That's hated so it. so boring. It yeah, was real bad. See. Going into it and not knowing, I guess, if it's real or not. It uh, <laughs> if it's real or not. I mean, I guess, I guess that would be part of it. Or I like, mean, it made a 
ton of money and it didn't cost them hardly anything. I feel like which you, is why we have this fucking piece true. of shit. Which I'm assuming you haven't. Have you seen the sequel to the first one? No. That one's really good. It came out what was it like 2016, 17, 18? I don't know. 19, oh yeah, it's 20. like a recent. I didn't I But didn't that, that was really good. I'm not sure it I has knew that existed. Famous actor James Allen McEwen in it? Who? Famous actor James Allen McEwen? I don't know who that is. He's famous actor James Allen McEwen. He's right? in Shameless. Yeah. Uh, uh but he, that that one's really good. I really like that one. Uh I I talked to my friend Victoria and Is she, she hates that one. Victoria. No, I felt like I had to introduce Doesn't her. Doesn't she have a guys. sauce? She hates that movie. Fuck that bitch. She's not allowed in this house ever but, again. I mean I gotta get it. Like there's parts of that movie that I'm like, what? At the end of that movie they make it seem like spoiler alert aliens are having to do with Blair Witch. Oh, I uh, forgot about that. I think that's what I liked because I was like, oh, cool. Of course you like that. Yeah, I like anything. If you put space in there and time travel, it could be the shittiest thing ever and then it ends and there's aliens or time travel. I'm like, I get it. I'm cool. Yeah, that's not right. Like if this movie, this, not this whole movie ended and it was like, poof, they walked back in time as the beginning, I'd be like, all right, that's kind of neat. I, well, I'm, I'm for the movie. interesting for that one. They didn't though. Yeah. The I wish I could have time traveled back to before yeah, I saw it. Me oh too. my god. <laughs> The interesting part of that one, though, is that the the main person that Jerome said, um, he's the brother of the girl that's in the first one. Yeah, and he's been looking for her ever since, and like he so found like a, he for he finally seventeen years. Yeah, he finally found some footage and all that. Yeah, so then he what's so weird? Like it didn't rain there or nothing, racket. Well, no. The, what's no. cool is when, when you get there, it's like this weird. There's like a. It's like a. I don't know how. You it's almost like a Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. Why are you guys talking like that? But yeah, it's like I think like like time moves differently there once you're there, and that's what they oh, say. Oh, that makes sense. Controlling it. There's always little pockets where time moves weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like in my room. Yeah, that makes sense. I really couldn't tell if he was kidding at first or being like, "Oh, that makes sense. That explains a lot." He's like, "No, actually, I get that." He's like, "Sometimes I'm driving down the street and I'm just, it's like five minutes going down this road, that, and it seems like an hour." I was like, "Seriously, officer, I I didn't know I was speeding. Mm-hmm. Time moves slower here." <laughs> All right, does I'm that, gonna. Does that work for speeding? Wouldn't it? If time slows down, you wouldn't slow down, would you? Well, what if you were trying to hurry to get down to the end of the road because you're like, ah, this is taking Don't, so long. You're going to confuse him. Yeah, but if... You, if, the, if, if if Oh, my God. I can hear your brain breaking. If <laughs> time is... Slow, like, say right now, 10 minutes here is going to move for 20 minutes. Yeah. Would I walk like this? You would no, know you were. No, but I'm saying if, you, if you, you go outside right now and I tell you it's going to be 10 minutes to get to, like, Constitution... And then you're going, and you're like, it's been longer than 10 minutes. And you're like, what's happening? Mm. So then you start running. See, I assume that means like I'm stuck and the street's getting longer. Okay. So this movie was directed by, what's his name? Joe Berlanger? 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 The guy that did that uh, documentary on Netflix about Ted Bundy and the movie about Ted Bundy, Wicked Leave Isle and Evil. He did the documentary too, or yep. just the movie? They did. He did both. I'm pretty sure. And you're supposed, yeah, to, you're supposed to watch wicked, them back to back ex- to get the whole story. Extremely, extremely wicked, shockingly evil, and vile is what it's called. Um, Which I actually didn't like. I know people liked it. I didn't like that. The movie or the the movie? Oh, I liked the movie. I I, the movie was a. I, the movie was okay, but I really liked the performance. I like the people in it, and I think they do a good job acting. But I don't like the way that it was framed. Like it was like kind of from the wife. But, like, kind of not. Uh, I, I didn't like that. I, I remember liking it, but I only watched it that one time, too. Same, so. So, this actually made $26 million at the box office. Oh. Which isn't a lot. How much did it cost to make it? Like, 15 they f- is an estimate. Oh, uh, okay. And then $47 million worldwide. So, while it's called a failure, I mean, it still made money. Mm. Yeah. I think Jerome read a trivia, too, that it was, like, that it did make a lot of uh, money, but that people absolutely hated yeah, it after right. they saw it. So, yeah, he did, he did both, by the way. It took me a long time to look that up. But I, I want to sh- say here, cause did you see, I sent you that video that talked about the movie. And yeah. The guy pre- what was that called? Uh, that video? Yeah. It's Good Bad Flicks. Yeah, okay. And it's, just look up Good Bad Flicks, play which you can see. It was interesting, even though the guy did really kind of suck off the director a bit. And he, like, he could tell he really cared about it. Oh, like way too much. Yeah. Yeah. But this guy's previous movie, um... Paradise Lost, the child murderers at Robin Hood Hills. Yeah, didn't that sound like the almost the exact same plot, or like similar? Because it was like kids get lost out in the woods and they're blamed for murder. Kinda, yeah. And that's what happens here. <laughs> well, and there was like a bunch of things that led to it or were um, homages to it or whatever. Yeah. Uh, in that video you sent me, there was all kind of like hidden messages and 
yeah, oh. I did, things. I did like I did through, like that part. throughout the movie, and I was like, oh, that's cool. But too bad no one gave a fuck. Yeah, like I guess like on the tombstone, you know, the girl's laying there. When you first see it, it says a different. It says a name. It's like someone that died there from the actual Blair Witch or something, whatever oh. it is. And then when it goes back to it, it's a completely different name on the tombstone. I think it's a, yeah, I think it was even a different word. I don't even think it was a name. I think it was a word. Yeah, and then it switched to a name. And then like when they're talking in the in the one, I think it was right after they had their little fake makeout scene. They were that talking. was weird too. And then and they're like, "Well, we were just imagining. We were yeah. about to fuck, and you scratched me, and then didn't say anything about it to each other." Yeah, and then but in the thing behind him, it says no. Yeah, like on the window, and there's it's like carved figures out figures no. and stuff, and I was like. What does that mean, though? And when she lays no, down, no, no means no, Taylor. Yeah, when she's yeah, laying, like, when she's laying down on the grass, all sexy like, mm-hmm. it's the gra- the leaves say something. So they put a lot of thought into it, but then I feel like it got fucked up, and then it was kind of a bad movie, anyways. Do they add up to mean something? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's, it's, it adds up to mean something. Um, and that girl something, something something something. The children will be free again. That sounds like a country song. <laughs> but it's like the Blair, it's a message from the Blair Witch. Like, if you don't leave, the children will be free again, and she'll set the children upon the you. The girl at the something end. Something like that. I don't remember anybody's fucking name, and I don't care. Um, yeah, the, I don't the know. Blonde it's at the end. It's all the actors' names. Yeah, I know. I'll look the, it up. The, the blonde at the end, I have it on my next page. I just haven't got mm-hmm. there. Um, she talks backwards. She says one of the messages. Oh, okay. yeah. But it's I literally it backwards. I liked at the end. I didn't notice this when I was trying to get clips, but even though they took it off Stars and Hulu, so I couldn't actually get all the clips I That's wanted. That's crazy that they took it off the day after I watched it. Yeah. I mean, thank God. Cause you, cause almost, you almost had to buy it. I would have fucking it. killed you. Uh, but you know how when when the girl that I, I liked from The Deuce, the, the goth chick oh, in this, mm-hmm. um, when she's at the door and she's like, Peggy. She's like, you remember that part when she's at like, the, the diner trying to buy her stuff and she flicks the girl's badge? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, when she, she's up Diner. At, Oh, I, I said diner. I meant gas station. I don't <laughs> it's know a, yeah, it was like a convenience store. Yeah. Uh, when the girl's going crazy and then before they hang her, she flicks the goth girl on the on the like shirt right here and says that girl's name again. Oh. And I was like, oh, that's kind of neat. They're like, they brought that back. It's cause, like, and she was like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Which I, I didn't catch that, but I was already gone at that point. I didn't care. <laughs> so, this, like I said before, this is our fourth one, right? Yeah. The IMDb rating for this movie is 3.9 out of 10 that's pretty good right so that's the, like the ratings we get for the podcast so <laughs> no, they <weren't> that high. <laughs> so to put it in perspective dude where dude where's my car was 5.5 which that's lower than i thought it would be nah it seems about right to me yeah, snatch is 8.3 it was in the Memento tops was, for movies wasn't it no that year or no. did i make that up you made that up gotcha snatch was 8.3 memento was 8.4 I gotta find a number to compare that to. Oh, what are you gonna look up your little weird movie? Oh, Cats got two point seven. Oh, oh damn. damn! Wow. I so if you had to say I'm sitting you down right now and I'm like you're gonna watch a movie for the next hour and a half, you and you can watch Cats or Blair Witch Two. What do you watch? To be honest, I would pick this because Cats was and so. And do you long. do you pick it because of? Is that why you pick it? Sounds kind of like the McDonald's song. <laughs> <Ba-da-ba-ba>. <laughs> We're not loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it. So the the only other trivia I wrote down was that the film was supposed to start out in the opening credits. Supposed to be Frank Sinatra's Witchcraft. Uh, should I play that? Sure. Uh, okay. But instead they played Marilyn Manson's uh, Disposable Teens. That's such a different tone. Well, and they, that's what they said. The Witchcraft song is like a, it's supposed to be like an Everything in life. That's an ad. <laughs> You always hit <laughs> it. That's for, it's just a movie. Poof, blurred, everything in life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, website. Get Squarespace. <laughs> wow. This would have been weird, though. I feel like. A little bit. Let me get to him singing. This is what I saw this. In so the like, title. still panning over those strings. Yeah. Got yeah. No def- and it also went to said Book of Shadows with this one too. I hope they would have done like a different color correction thing then, because like didn't. Yeah, d- didn't you think that was so oddly color correct? Like the trees were so fucking orange. Yeah, they were very orange. Who are you asking? They looked. Oh, it's fucking. He's like, <laughs> I thought it was purple. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought it looked weird too, because I, I thought there were purple trees out there. They look like trees to me. They were like immensely orange. Did you know that this yeah. son of a bitch can sort colored skittles? But yet I tell him he's sitting there because he's a green microphone, and he's like, I didn't know that was green. I knew it was green. I just don't pay attention to which one's mine. You fucking idiot. But he can sort Skittles. He almost put a yellow in the orange pile, though, so. That was an accident. It, like, slipped out of so my hand. So he thought the trees were yellow. They yeah. looked yellow. 
Hey. Hey, Elvira, I got something you can suck the blood out of. Yeah, bitch. If I had a nickel for every time he said that to me. I like how there's like a little country twang in his voice. Hey, Elvira. Are you ready, are you ready for best scene? Yeah. Yeah, I mean. I was thinking about this because I was like, fuck, I don't know if I have one. I'm going to say. Look, I, this I, this is where I was like, I get his notes because I have nothing. So Okay, so. <laughs> Here, I have three. I'm gonna save the one that I think is the best scene for last. Okay, oh. and unfortunately, because they took it off everything, I don't have the sounds. It's the first time ever I don't have all the sounds for the best scenes. Well, so, re- or quotes. So that's oh, I got really you. unfortunate. Well, I don't even know. Oh, I do have some quotes. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of fitting for this movie that it's not true. everything's right. Okay, okay, so number one, I would have when the girls just chowing down on the owl. <laughs> <laughs> what was that a reference to? Was that was it? I guess Al- dead or no? They said the owls are a sign of like death in some cultures or some shit. Oh, so Harry Potter's gonna die? Oh, okay, or Woody Owl? I don't know. Mm. Oh my god! Would but you know what I thought? Is Woody so, the owl trying to kill? Like he talks to her and she's like, "What?" And she's just like eating the owl and it's like this big. Yeah, and then it turns into some like a Popeye's, chicken wing, some Popeye's chicken. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, I wonder if owls taste good." Oh, you know what I should have got? Popeye's chicken is the shiznit. Wow. Well, you just wasn't it just a, a wing, a little Nicky? Uh, no, it wasn't actually Popeye's chicken. I don't know what it was. Well, like I, I thought it was like you know wings. You just wanted and to she was eating. You're like, hey, is that delish? Uh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what do you eat? Um, so the second, the second one I have is the one you were talking about, the convenience store scene. Oh, with um. Hey, Elvira, I got something you can suck the blood out of. Yeah, before she out. walks out. Oh no, Whip that's as out. she's walking in. Whip it out. Whip Fuck it off. Out. <laughs> Whip it out. Okay. Whip it out. <laughs> Fuck off. He, he always does it like one or two many, too many times. That sounds about what right. What the fuck? Uh, you fucking geeky little fucking bitch. Jesus. Do you know what's my, actually my favorite button? Of all time. Is it? I think Taylor can guess. Um, come back. Come back. <laughs> what's that from? <laughs> it's from a uh, bedroom of spooky. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's the, um, the hole. Come back. Doesn't it kind of sound like Jesse from Breaking Bad? Come back! A little bit. Yeah, like, y- little I bit. would like to see a remake of that movie Do you movie know who Jessie. says that? It's, it's uh, the guy from Dexter. The one that dates Deborah. The whole like the whole show until she starts dating her brother. Is his name Quinn? Brother. It is Quinn, I believe. Oh. I was going to call her Quinn. How come you remember him, but you don't remember... Oh my god, I forgot Diggle from Arrows and fucking Dexter. I forgot that four years ago or something. <laughs> Get over it! Well, how... <laughs> you still don't remember. Fuck off! Who is he? Fuck you know. off. I think he dates Deborah, I guess. He dates I don't know. Deborah. Oh. Do you want to hear Taylor's favorite button? Which I told this. No. Is, I told this is kind of offensive, but she says it's her favorite. Okay. I don't. Fucking retard. That is not my favorite button. <laughs> she said, anytime daddy talks, play that. And I was like, okay, I is guess. Is that from Scream? No. Fucking retard. No, it's from Memento. Memento. Okay. This is like, from Scream. Never alone. <laughs> you could play that one first and then the other one second. Oh. Never alone. Fucking retard. There you go. It's been. All right, you can continue. Can I? Okay, so what did you think about the convenience store scene? Uh, that was really weird. I did see, or you saw it too in that video. That guy that's laying on the floor apparently is some dude that like killed kids or whatever before. And I don't know if he's a ghost there or what, because when she goes back, he's gone. But he goes, I'm all done now. Hey, we, what is it? Rabbit. It's what he kind of sounded like. I'm finished now. Hey there, rabbit. You didn't get that? No. <laughs> That's what he kind of talked like. Jeez. But the guy laying on there, I guess he was some kind of child killer or something. And his tools were all like in a Blair Witch. So yeah. Like, really so that was, that was another like Easter egg or something too. I, okay, I don't know if I'm down with these. What does that do? No, no, that's the thing. Yeah, it means so, nothing. See, the thing is, though, like you have to be really in. And isn't the Blair Witch made up specifically for that movie or was it the thing before? No, it's made up. Uh, I don't remember. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a little bit of both. Let me see. When did Blair Witch? Oh, here when we go. I'm did pretty sure it's made up for the movie. Welcome back to Drums Google Corner. It's not like Bloody Mary or something. Yeah, that's not made up. No, but Bloody January Mary is 25th, 1999, the when the Blair Witch Project. Oh, yeah, it's just when the movie came out. Uh, I know they did it Wikipedia. before. Wikipedia. Uh, so there's not a real Blair Witch. I don't care. That's the, my problem. Blair Witch is a horror film franchise distributed by Artisan Entertainment, now Lionsgate, and produced by Hexen Films. Okay, well, I don't care. Uh, yeah, it looks like they just made it up. Okay, last. Yeah, there's a faux. So is it a real? Thing. I'm confused. Is it a real killer? 
Like, that that or, guy, no, that guy is just just from. That's what I was saying. They have all this shit. That's he's like, from that it's other. Like, it's like lore from the Blair Witch stuff, but it's all extra shit. Like, cause like they had like in game stuff. Like you figure out this code, you go to the website, or you go to the website, you see missing kids from the first movie. You know. Oh. So it's all extra stuff. That people. That guy out. was from the movie that you talked about before. The uh, what well, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, oh, his uh, one yeah, the kids go missing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so best scene still. Um, oh yeah, I I that one was okay, but it's not the best. I was gonna say honestly, I just like that when he was when I she like was talking Lyra, shit to. Her. I got something you could suck the blood out of. For oh. me, that could honestly be the best. I feel like there wasn't much to work with. I got one more. This okay. is my this is my vote. When she drowns the fetus, I like that because oh. we were like, "What the fuck is there?" But you know what Taylor said? Oh, she's on her period in the water. <laughs> what? I don't even remember saying. <laughs> that. And I was like, "That's fucking gross." Um, I oh mean, yeah. Sorry. Could could they have got a worse looking baby doll foot? Yeah, a lot of this movie is pretty bad. I was like, what? Oh, the special no, effects in this movie my, are horrible. My, I get, my favorite scene now thinking about now is when they, the 10 minutes they take when they rewind the footage and poof, all of a sudden shit appears. Actually, it's like, and it's, I think it is this song. And they're all like <laughs> doing their shit and sucking off bottles and dancing and uh, breaking their own shit. Actually, what I really like is when they wake up and then there's like all like the oh, yeah, he's falling. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, and they all like just automatically know that it's like someone ripped up the papers. Yeah. But we, it's like snowing. What's confusing paper? about that is in the footage that they're dancing at night and they're like <laughs> <laughs> throwing shit around. Nice catch. Yeah, they're throwing shit around. And then how is it still falling yeah, down when like, they woke up in the morning? They them like, really high. And then the one dude, I have the clip on here somewhere. I can edit it in here. But he's like, whoa, it's like we all must have blacked out. It's like we must have blacked out. Yeah, yeah. that was the fucking dumbest <laughs> shit. I swear yeah, to Christ. That's I, when I knew we were You know how like, we've done, like, fourth time, right? It's number four. This mm-hmm. is the first time I actually wrote down some questions at the end. Oh, cool. So... I I'm, I voted for the drowning of the baby fetus. I'm I'm voting for them dancing for ten minutes in the woods, being all crazy. That song. That makes sense. That's my best scene. I mean, it's hard to pick a best scene out of a movie that's so shitty. Yeah. 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 All right. Ready for best quote? Yeah. I got a couple in here. Yeah, I'll try to reenact them for you since I don't have. The okay. Sense. My first one. This might be my favorite. <laughs> There's a lot of naysayers who come and say nay. <laughs> You should have told me that I could have got a horse on here. He that's right in the beginning. Mm-hmm. I was like, Well, pause. All right, this one is a be so bad after all and I wrote that down. Oh that's my God. funny. I did put on I watched this with subtitles. I noticed oh. that when I went out there. Because I was like, Well, I gotta You gotta write stuff down, yeah. might as well do all that. Honestly, I think that probably could have helped us. Yeah. Uh my next one, you might as well just play it. Hey Elvira, I got something you could suck the blood out of. Blood out of Hell, Byron. And that's her. You know, if it wasn't for <laughs> comic book men, I wouldn't know who that is. Oh my god! Which makes me sound stupid, but me too. Like, who the fuck is this? But she had their fucking titties popping out and all this stuff. Oh, she's really popular when I was younger. Yeah, apparently. But, so thanks, comic book men. Okay, so I got. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's touching it, I thought he'd be trying to read it like Braille. <laughs> Well, He's like, I got uh, hey uh, I bro- Byron, I got something you can I, bro- the I wrote these in the dark, and my handwriting sucks. I, so I wanted to like that could be like the name. Oh, you should make a book entitled that. I wrote this in the dark in my handwriting. Handwriting sucks. sucks. That'd be a good. I'd read that book, <laughs> but not understand it. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's the same. It's the fir- original dude. I don't remember his name. Um, he says no. But, I know uh, they like disowned her or something because she's a witch. <laughs> oh, is that is that the? Well, oh, there, there's Kim, Erica, Stephen. I think it's Stephen. Tristan and it was Jeffrey. Jeffrey. It was Jeffrey. I like Jeffrey. He's my favorite character. If we have a character, but yeah, I, think I liked uh, the goth girl way. too because she's in the Deuce. The main guy is Jeffrey. Yeah, yeah. and then like and him. then Erica was in. Um, For some reason, every time I thought of Erica, wrong I thought of Erica Badu. And I don't think that was her. Hmm. She, this girl's in Wrong Turn. What else was she in? She's in Wrong Turn yeah. and the Jessica Biel check, Texas Chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I actually wrote that down. Yeah. I didn't remember um, her from that. I remembered her from Wrong Turn. Yeah, so, and then the last one, said that. it's another Jeffrey quote. She's a witch, man. She's one pissed off witch. I wanted. I wrote that down. I wanted that on there. but I couldn't, Oh, really? I, I couldn't get that. I mean, it, it's so... It was so pathetic. Yeah, my favorite quote actually is, "Um, why is there a naked good swing, naked girl swinging on a tree in the woods?" 
That's your favorite quote. That's my favorite quote of the movie. What's your favorite quote? I really like that naysayers. Yeah. It, and actually, that's I, real good. I want to jump in. My second favorite scene is anytime they showed that l- little ghost witch going. Oh my God. Going that backwards. That that's my so favorite part funny. of the movie. Was, she, was it twice or was it more? Yeah, it was at the hospital. And then she's yeah. on the bridge going like. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of naysayers who come and say nay. <laughs> he said more stuff. Is it, is it the guy being interviewed? Yeah, right in the beginning. I, I wonder if I can find that. Um, all right, best scene. Er, I'm sorry. Jesus. Best career since. I'd say either the girl that's in the deuce, the guy that had a TV show. It's got to be Jeffrey. who Because yeah. like, she was in a show for three seasons. He's that just ended, the literally the main character, though, right? Yeah. Burn notices. He, I looked at how he's in like 111 episodes. Right here. The main character. Hold on, I think I might have got it. Has him come and say nay. But then there was a lot of supporters who come that's nay. It. But then who, who come and Damn Blair Witch! You know, there are a lot of naysayers who, who, who come and say nay. But then there is a lot of supporters who come. <laughs> That's really good. You know who he reminded me and Taylor of? James Franco. Oh, that gets a good one, too. But um, That's a Matthew Lillard. Oh, I could see that, we too. We were like, we could totally see Matthew Lillard playing the role. And I honestly kind of wish he would have. Like, imagine if they... If, like, you kind of wish he would have? That would have made this so don't much Don't you think better. if they had a little... I don't think this guy was the problem with the movie. Definitely not. No. Okay. I, actually, I liked him. Okay, I didn't like him, and I knew that I wasn't going to like this movie once it started showing his interview. Uh, Why? Because he said naysayers? Well, once he was like, I was in the, the hospital, it, and Taylor, then I went and saw is the it movie 17 times, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, you know what she said? Mm. Wow, what is this guy a... Fucking retard! And wow. I was like, Taylor! Come on! No, 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 no. I was like, come on, just... Never alone! But, like, yeah, literally at that point, I was like, oh is Oh, is that god. him? Matthew Lillard? Oh, that is yeah. Matthew Lillard. Yeah. He al- the guy also reminded me... Oh, I thought you did that on purpose. No, I didn't. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm not Christ. that smart. The guy also reminded me of Ben from Ozark. Uh, what's her face? His sister? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't know. Fuck you. I don't agree with that at all. He just uh, he looked like he could be like a younger version of him to me. Hmm. Never never saw that. Yeah, thanks for you know agreeing with me. Don't be prick. Okay, so next category, since we just agree that's that guy that's in Burn uh-huh. Notice. Yeah. Um, holy shit, that bitch is in this movie. For me, it was uh, that the Erica because I was like, oh wow, she's in two things. And then a couple minutes in the movie, I was like, wow, that goth girl looks really familiar. And Taylor looked it up and Taylor's like, she's in the deuce. And I was like, oh yeah, she overdoses on heroin in season three. Yeah, so Spoiler her name. Spoiler alert. Her name. No one's watching that show. Kim director. She Worst played, ending ever. Played Kim Diamond in the deuce. Hmm. Erica Leeson uh, played Erica Gearson. <laughs> Wow. Wrong turn Big stretch t- for her, huh? Wrong turn two in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Electric you know that you know the movie's bad when everyone plays their own name. Yeah, well I think they did they wanted to do that because like oh player which did it. Well, good for them. But and then Jeffrey Donovan is in Burn Notice and a bunch of other shit, so yeah, he, yeah, he, I was surprised. he's also in Wickedly Violent Evil. He's like the attorney or something. Oh, is he? Yeah. We looked at it. Alright, so here this is it. Best performance. Uh, that little girl going across the bridge. That's not a good performance. The dog's barking. Um, <laughs> the owl, it played dead. <laughs> I wrote two down. I wrote the Jeffrey Donovan because he was kind of funny Yeah, I, d- I liked his... There were, a lot of times he wasn't. He was kind of like if it was like Jay from Jane's and Bob, but only like 10% of him. I get that a little bit. You know what I mean? I, I thought that he wasn't a bad actor, and Erica at some points wasn't in the goth, gothic chick wasn't at some points also. I thought she was pretty good most of the time. So the other one I wrote down, and this right at the end, was her, Tristy Skywar is her name. Um, she's the blonde that is actually goes the witch. Cr- goes crazy and becomes a witch. Because she, she was a shitty actor up until she's a witch, and I was like, okay, this is decent. Yeah, when yeah. she when she turns, she's like, fuck you, and does yeah. stuff. Well, like I think th- I did. Oh no, I didn't say. It. I was gonna get a going, You're all gonna fucking die. Maybe that's what she said. Yeah. Uh, when she turned, I was like, oh, that was actually kind of neat. For, I mean, if you have to grab onto something in yeah. this movie. And then they hang her. I like that. They kicked her off and hung her. Yeah, her boyfriend. I want a gif of that every time like, I want to hang myself. Just, it was so stupid that like then they all go to jail. And, well, yeah. I, just, I didn't like how it, it just ended like that. Because like, yeah. oh, this movie shouldn't be one where you're like, oh, was it a witch? Or are they just, what do they call it? Group, del- group delusion? I was like, just tell me it's a witch. Come on. I'm watching Blair Witch 2. I'm not watching... Group delusion to Book of Shadows. I feel like you don't think it's a group delusion. Yeah, I don't. I, I assume it's the witch and it's supposed to look that way. 
But they intend it to be ambiguous. Yeah, in I just didn't no care. Debate. It ended. I was like, it really fucking ends like that. I was just like, oh, thank God this is over. I wanted the witch to be like, <laughs> oh my. And then, and then a house falls on her. Yeah. And, it, and it, it's like. <laughs> oh, so it, do you think it's Jeffrey or? I think her name's Tristy. Do is you it think it's Tristan? It's, Maybe. Oh, it is Tristan. Is it Tristan? Because I was like, I thought it was really weird. This Tristan. Tristan I have it IMDb right here. Should I look? Oh, maybe it is Tristan. Because I thought like... It's Tristan Ryler as Tristan Skyler. Oh, so it's not... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, so I got her name wrong then. I wrote down her... I wrote down and you even had you even had subtitles on. It was like, they're like, Tristan! You're like, Tristy? <laughs> no, I looked that part up because it was towards the end. They, oh, were, you, they were calling her witch. You had point. blinders on every time they said they her They were name. calling her the pissed off witch at that mm. point. They were calling her... Actually, that was, fucking retard! That was Erica that was the pissed off witch. Yeah. Which, was she ever pissed off? No, but she ripped Pamela Lee's tits off. Oh, my <laughs> God. Well, is it, is it either quote. one of their best performances ever? I don't... The fuck? No, it's not. I, I doubt it. Oh, I, I don't girl, know because I don't remember a lot of stuff. That other girl's never been in anything hardly else that you've well, ever seen in your life. She's, she was killed. The hunger. I would say... I That's think, not real life, pal. Oh, shit. To me, actually thinking about it, I do think the Tristan girl was the best to me. Which one is that? When she turned evil. Oh, the evil girl. Gotcha. I liked when she went... <gasps> and then <laughs> she was like... That was so weird because she was like... <gasps> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's going on with you, lady? <laughs> um, so the next category is, uh, could there be a sequel? Well, there was. Yeah. But so not to this movie. There well, is another Blair Witch, but not to this. But it forgets this. So. Yeah. This movie doesn't exist. I mean, it, it, it isn't necessarily. Oh, I guess because in that in the sequel, the first one's a movie. So like, hey, didn't they do that to yeah. Thor? They just skipped Wait, the second one? I was going to say they don't mention this, but like it could still be real. But I oh. forgot that the Blair Witch one's a movie in this. Yeah. But then, it's, but then there's a real witch that gets all stupid. It's fucking dumb. But th- obviously they can make sequels because they just keep making them. You know, it's the only movie that I've seen successfully do something, which I don't know if it was like, like actually money successful, but where they take a, they do a sequel and then the other shits are movies. Is Wes Craven's A New Nightmare? Like all the Freddies uh, are uh, are movies in that, but then it's about Nancy and she has a kid and a husband also. But then Freddie's real and like Wes Craven's writing a new movie and it's like going through the whole movie and all that. That's a really good movie. That's the only one I think I've ever seen where like. They do a sequel like that, and it works. Yeah, to me, actually, that's one of the best Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, and like Freddy actually looks like kind of cool and evil in that. I don't remember liking it, but that that one that one's one of my favorites. That one it's I actually re- think it's really is good. Yeah, a lot better. I'll take your word for it. Okay, he kills. He scratches Rex. I know. Pour that's what I always think of. Rex, Rex Lynn. No, it's a dinosaur. No, Simon. Oh. Uh, you know, they're nasty. Crickets. Yeah. What the fuck? So now we get to pick the next movie. Me and Tess said we want to do Girl Interrupted. But I did, would, did you have a suggestion? Did you I did have a suggestion. He's like, let's so do Bring It On. We want to do that. We want to do American Psycho, but we're going to save that for Hess. Yeah. Oh. We could Skype him in. Beep, 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 you said beep. you didn't want to. You said yeah, fuck I Hess. I don't, I don't want to Skype him in, but I feel like eventually we might have, have to, to for this record because for the rest pretty of our soon lives. the zombies are going to start banging on our windows well then what's the point what's the point of what do you think they would be come and knock on my door yeah the zombies are like hey I want a replicable put one out or I'm going to eat your brains Arr! they kind of sound like Hess so yeah. we could do Girl Interrupted but like this the replicables That's yeah it sounds the, a lot the, like the, you the zombies are all outside just doing <laughs> this the replicables the replicables. Okay. The replicables. I, and we're like, zombies, calm down. I, it's the only reason he wants to do this Walk podcast off. is so he can Walk fucking off. press Walk some off. buttons. Yeah, honestly. It's been. So the one the I picked. Re- <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. He's so dumb. Look at him. Just let him laugh. See how long it goes. <laughs> Your eyes get so small. <laughs> I know. Mm. I could say something racist right now. The re- Stop. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? I wasn't listening. I didn't say it. Oh. Uh, way of the Gun. <laughs> way of the Gun? Uh-huh. What's that? You don't know what Way of the Gun is? Should I watch the trailer? Sure. Okay, you yeah. Just, you just listen to me. Let me here. totally watch that. The Way of the Gun or A Way of a Gun? The Way of the Gun. The? I don't know if I've ever seen the trailer. Of the... Gun. You may or may not like it, but should, it I wa- should I watch the opening scene? No, you fucking 
Oh, I actually looked up the gay of the gun. No wonder it was. <laughs> All right, let's see. Would you say qualified? Oh, that's from Artisan. It's from the um, same people I that made. I am a fairly good Blair looking Wedge. man. <gasps> physically fit. Um. Ryan Felipe Ryan is Felipe? what he's trying to say. I don't know who that is. Yeah, you do. He's in um, Cruel Intentions. Cruel Intentions. Oh, okay. Babel. Oh, never killed a man. Oh, and Benicio Del Toro? This is one of those days! He said, she said, both. Oh, Luke Biscuit. Mr. Parker. My associate will be Mr. Longbow. At some point, it became clear to us that our path had been chosen. This already looks interesting. I say we do this. I say wow. we... Wow. wow. No, no, no. Can we no, just no. ditch me that no, quick? No, you guys... Took my words wrong. I was going to say, let's do this. Let's do Girl Interrupted next, and then this is our next movie after that. Since we talked about Girl Interrupted in, be- in between this, before your suggestion. So now we have our next two movies picked. Okay, I can and, do and that. You want to do one a week? Let's do both those. Because it has two people I like. And a good, he said, he said bullshit. What if it didn't have two people would, that you like? Would you say no If those no two right people here? weren't in the trailer, I would have said no. Uh, Shut can, the fuck does up. he have the ability? Oh, I, I, mean, I, I have, have, I have some power. You, you fucking... Geeky little fucking bitch. I wow. feel like you probably don't. <laughs> no, it's his show. We watch whatever he wants. But that's just my suggestion. Yeah, this Girl Interrupted, well, and this fucking movie are the two that I haven't picked. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I'll do things just Taylor's on it. We should cater to her a little bit. We do two for her. This is not for her. One for us. She said, I'll do Blair Witch Book of Shadows, too. Why did you say that, you... Okay. No, she said Scream Three or this, and then you you did pick it because I I told her I told you that she I didn't pick this. Let me talk. <laughs> I did not pick this. Billy Jackson picked this. Yeah, but she yeah. said I do Blair Witch Two or Scream Three. I told you you said Billy Jackson commented this. Let's do this. And I said, oh, right. oh, that's true. Well, because we asked people to comment, and he's the only one that did. And I we, feel like we, we already should, we already did do Scream like, Three. Oh, he he picked that. Let's not do that. I think if someone comments, we should do it. Yeah, but if someone else yeah. comments another movie like this. We're still doing it. I turned it down. Yeah. Fuck off. I'm going to comment off. Gladiator. Fuck off. Is that 2000? Yeah. Yeah. That's Academy Award. Award. It's always the first one that pops up when you look at it. You know what? I'm going to start commenting things. You do it. She's like, hey, let's watch. Oh, to- oh my God. I'm going to make fake accounts and comment movies I want to watch. First of all, you'd have Find to watch our video. Easy peasy. She just has to click on a comment. It's not like the comment only appears if you watch the whole thing. That would be an interesting trick. Yeah. It should be. Uh, so is that it? Oh, no. yeah, that's it. No, that's not It's good. business. All right, so we're doing Girl Interrupted next week, and then we'll do Way of the Gun afterwards. Way of the yeah. Gun, I already know what the best scene is. is it really, it's all about the he said, she said bullshit. What, what genre is that? Uh, probably X. And we had nothing to watch. Sorry, I was going back to the trailer to see what it said. I, you know what I am noticing? What? That from a lot of these movies, the music tells you what year it came out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Blair Witch was exceptional in that. What am I on a Is podcast <laughs> or what? It's a crime action two hour movie. It also has uh, Juliette oh. Lewis, Tay Diggs. Oh, oh yeah. the, the famous Nikki Cott. It, oh, it, has, it has Grandpa that gets beheaded in Walking Dead. Yep. It has. James Conn. Sarah Silverman. So th- I think we got a pretty weird. decent movie coming up a- after Girl Interrupted, which Girl Interrupted is good too. So I think we have two replicables coming up. I own Girl Interrupted, but there's one part where it skips. What the well, fuck? We obviously can't watch that. Yeah, we did watch that one. She bought it and she's like, oh yeah, it's frozen. Yeah, we- okay, I didn't know that it was going to be frozen, but it froze. And I Wait, like, is it, it frozen go. in the movie? <gasps> Let it go. All right, we can wrap this fucker up. Um, but I do have some questions. What? All right. Whip it out. So why are they so surprised that they can't remember shit when they're fucking smoking weed, drinking Jack Daniels straight, and fucking drinking beers? And yeah. They're just having they a fucking... partying all night, and then they but wake up, they're like, what the fuck? Why don't I remember? Like, oh, it must be a witch! You know what I was kind of disappointed in? What? The witch is making them do all this crazy stuff, and like they get naked and stuff, but I wanted... Oh, like stick something in their ass? I wanted one of the guys to either get like a Blair Witch stick in their ass or something, yeah. or like them to be together. I could see that. But that didn't happen. If I was a witch, I'd stick something in their ass. Yeah, I'd be like, you guys are coming into my territory? Put a stick in that man's ass. <laughs> or like he gets home and he goes to take a dump. What about that fucking tree that was there and then not there? Oh, that was kind of cool. So I did like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> really? I was like, oh, it's kind of a neat trick. The guy's like, for oh. my next act, I'll put a tree in your house. It's gone. In just a tree house. Yeah. All right, my next question. Okay, so the sheriff calls them. He's like, turn on your TV. Yeah, this is where I got. Fuck off. From. 
turn on your TV, and then there's a news broadcast. <laughs> yeah, like he's like, hey, you see me? Yeah. <laughs> Accusing that. So he's telling, hey, I think you committed this murder. So I'm going to call you and tell you to turn on the news, and then I'm going to be like, so don't go anywhere, because I'm going to come yeah, get see, you. Th- that's that classic shitty movie thing. Same thing. If the movie has something like that where the cop's like, I've hated you all your life, and I'm going to get you. Is that your cop voice? Yeah, I'm going to get you. <laughs> hmm. Ring, ring. And he, and he it's, calls, and it's all that shit. It's like the sheriff coming after him. The stupid movie sheriffs and shitty movies like that always do stuff like that. It's not even about the sheriff knowing. It's about the sheriff telling him to turn what, on the TV yeah. instead of fucking getting a that's, warrant. That's what I'm saying. It's like, oh, I got your, sorry, I got your ass, <laughs> little boy. They always you do hear sh- that a lot, don't you? They, yeah, all the time. And I'm like, hey. And then he goes, the replicables, 2000. <laughs> the replicables. <laughs> Zombies are back. <laughs> Okay, I got one more question, and then we can end this stupid thing. Okay. So you know how that guy almost fell off that bridge? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it collapsed. And the, right? his girl was like, hmm. just walked away. <laughs> okay, what's the worst that's going to happen? He sprains an ankle? It wasn't that far. He would have got wet. Cause there's that's a, it, there's, though. There's, 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 there's a little stream down there. But yeah, like, like sure, this, it was not like it was a canyon. It was yeah. like a little drop-off. Well, yeah, it wasn't even that grand, either. The, <laughs> was that a fucking... Grand Canyon joke? It's been... I play that every time I do a good joke. Well, you better not ever play it again. Youf. Youf. <laughs> <laughs> Come back! But seriously, like, the creek was this... Oh, yeah, he could have been like, ah, and then the puppet could just ran away. Yeah, and then... I did like how, like, the, the van got... Like, she crashed into a car really slowly. And I, oh, and yeah, I was like, I oh, it's probably to save the van because I don't want to ruin it because I want the guy. And then the next scene, it's all fucking... It yeah. was fucked up. He did say, he was like, yeah, oh, they just didn't want to ruin the van. Yeah, and then they go to leave and it's fine. And the witch is like... <laughs> That's what I could use. Anytime something real happened, I need the witch to go... <laughs> and then I, I'm good. She does that a lot in the first one. Mm-hmm. And the sequel. Yeah. Remember when you see like, that weird like, <laughs> thing running by in the in the new one? And you're like, was oh, that the like witch? And they're the like, house? no, that was just some creature out there. The Are house? we sure girl? Oh, up- outside. Yeah. Are we sure girl interrupted came out in 2000? Yeah. I lo- we looked it up. I'll look it up again. Because for some reason, I'm picturing girl. 2001 in my head. Girl interrupted. I look up movies so much, I remember what year they Uh-oh. come. Uh-oh. Boom, boom. It's 1999. <gasps> Are you kidding me? You dumb. Oh, my God. Wow. Guess we're doing Way of the Gun. We looked it up before. I it was 2000 before when we looked it up. I asked you. We looked it up. Oh, hmm. man, that's embarrassing. Let me see. Let me look up, if I look up release date, if maybe you know, it released in the UK in 2001 or something, so then we can... 2000. It. Yeah, 2000. Oh, it says right here, with a wide... Oh, it was... It began limited release in 1999. It came out in everywhere in 2000, so that's what we saw. Oh, okay. So it is a 2000 movie. If Snatch made it through, that makes it through. That counts. It was <laughs> wide release 2000. I'm looking it up. It's on Wikipedia right here. Wikipedia doesn't lie. You Girl Interrupted is a 1999 American... Blah, 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 blah. Uh... Girl Interrupted began a, began a limited release on December 21st, 1999, with a wide expansion on January 14th, 2000. Although it received mixed reviews from critics, Jolie's performance received critical acclaim, and she won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. I just go from this. Yeah, but Snatch said 2001, and this came out everywhere. I have it right here. You're Boom. literally doing the opposite of Snatch. We count it. It's the same thing. If you got snatched, we get this. Oh my god! You, but you are so di- quiet. Yeah, I know. That was stupid. That's okay. I'll just I- edit this over it. Gotcha. Um, you literally did the opposite of snatch. Snatch came out in two thousand. Yeah, you don't understand. I argue when it works for me. But you're not even making sense. It was wide release in two thousand. We, you probably couldn't have seen it in theaters until two thousand. I thought it was like an HBO movie. No, nope, now you're just making shit up. No. No. I literally just what read it in theaters. <laughs> well, oh, because it was made by HBO, it couldn't go into theaters. I don't think so. And I okay, so I've seen this movie about two hundred times. I've seen it. At I least. guess you're I've seen it like at least three. Yeah, it'll be daddy. Be like, what was the best scene, motherfuckers? Oh yeah, like I could answer all of your little questions. All right, right now. let's just do the Quote. podcast right now. Then let's do quotes. Um, oh, burn! You fucking. Geeky little fucking bitch. I read the book too. So Replicables 2000, and here comes the movie from 1990. It's from. So, two- hey, then let's, hey, do, you, let's I, do Fight Club after this. Then your snatch counted, okay? Let the sli- this. Is, I just, actually agree with you in a general sense because if you couldn't have seen it until 2000s, 
it's a 2000 movie because yeah. you're going back I, in time. Right? I literally have only gone from what it says next to it on IMDb. So. Oh, yeah, because IMDb is such a reliable source. Go look at their trivia. Ooh. Burn. What was that voice? It's been. That's my Nick, you just got fucked voice. Okay. So. Ooh. Um, you pathetic piece of shit. If I could ever get a word in, I would say <laughs> I would do it. Okay, cool. I agree with you, too. <laughs> Thanks for agreeing with me. If you're going to shake with your left hand. Well, you, you, th- you thought about it. This one's really sweaty, so I don't know if you want it. I don't want either one of your fucking hands. Do you guys want to talk about clammy hands? No. Let's do it. Let's stop the podcast and now do a whole new one about yeah. clammy hands. Oh, even though this will be out later. Probably tomorrow so because I'll try to edit this tonight while you're working and stuff. But... Me and Taylor are starting a challenge after show. Don't know what it's called, but it'll be right Woo-hoo! here on Plika. It's called the Plika Challenge. Yeah. I don't know. I we'll thought of a good name. We'll figure it out. Do it. What? Was it, um... Fucking retard. Well, I was going to say, like, team something about Team Dad Bod. Uh, but Tony's not on the season, so... Yeah. Uh, fucking Tony. Yeah. God damn it. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do a challenge. So if you watch MTV's The Challenge, um, we'll be doing a show after that. It'll be pretty it's fun. interesting that you're saying it even though that probably come out before this i literally started th- saying that this is going to come out after the fact so then why even bother because someone's watching this my someone's seen this for the first time i oh, go they're like i like book ch- of shadows oh fuck i like the challenge too let me go check it out and then let's check it out see i would start watching the challenge and do it with you but <gasps> what i don't want that reaction mm. weird like what well, what time does it come out what time does it it's on at six but we have to watch it at 10 tonight because taylor's working but you could watch it without us. You, you, oh, but then I guess you wouldn't get... Yeah, I wouldn't care. Well, or you wouldn't know things as well. Yeah. Well, they, they pretty... Involved. But see, they that's the thing. I'm not going to be able to do... I, t- I, I go to work every day at fucking four in the morning. We're, we'll probably do it for like a 15, 20 minute video. Every huh? day? Oh, I guess every day on these days. I get up at four three times a week. Oh. The other days I get up at two. Oh. So yeah, gross. Fuck that. <laughs> Throw up I'm not doing a video at ten, but that's fine. But you should just watch it. Yeah. Well, anyways, me and Taylor. Maybe I'll start watching you guys' video. Be like, oh yeah, fuck you guys. Well, you, you guys have down. that opinion on CT? Go fuck yourself. On TC? Okay. <laughs> um. Yes. You want you want to wrap up the podcast? No. Oh uh, yeah. Are, do you think people are actually still watching at this point? I certainly hope so. Otherwise, this was a complete waste of time. I can't stop watching the mosquito in here. There's a mosquito in there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. It's disgusting. <sighs> Alright, everybody. Thanks for watching. Wait, 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 wait. We end in the same way. We could chug Jack Daniels as we do this. Why? Oh, because they were drinking Jack Daniels. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> you can go. Because go we're doing Animal House next. Go ahead and do your shit. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't look at Drum playing with his nibbles. And I guess tune in next time for Girl Interrupted. Yeah. From 1999. Big ball fight. Elvira, I got something you can suck the blood out of.